Doctors hope a game-changing treatment for blood cancer could save hundreds of Australian lives. Previously, the therapy would have cost most patients more than half a million dollars, but from today it will be subsidised by the government. When chemotherapy failed, Maria Baru searched desperately for a new treatment for her lymphoma. I thought, oh gosh, damn, I've got my cancer back again. The 65-year-old travelled to the US to undergo a CAR T-cell treatment called Yes Carter. I really thought that if I don't get something, it'd be the end of me. The therapy uses the body's own immune system to remove cancer by transforming T-cells to help them find and attack cancerous cells. A kind of technology that we didn't imagine would work 20 years ago. It's expensive, costing some patients upwards of half a million dollars. But from today, the government will subsidise the treatment. There are four subtypes of lymphoma where patients can be eligible. So hopefully that will actually benefit, you know, quite a few hundred patients each year. But the fact that it is here, that you don't have to go to Boston or anywhere else in the world, is amazing. The treatment's now available for eligible patients at the Peter Mac in Melbourne and at the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital. Some sites in Sydney will be added within the next year. Well, it's the thing that gets you up every day, isn't it? Seeing, seeing a patient whose lymphoma is not responding to standard therapy have a cure, essentially. I'm living my life again. I am alive. I am alive. And with this new subsidy, hopefully many more Australians will be able to say the same. Annie Kearney for 10 News First.